Our Vice President, how the distinguished scientists, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm extremely grateful for the opportunity to present on behalf of my colleagues um, progress uh, in the Qatar Cardiovascular Research Center. Now, in this short presentation, I hope to present in front of you first a prologue, the case of need, strategies, strategies to combat the so-called epidemic in cardiovascular disease, which we are witnessing, and then get into specifics with the main objectives of the Qatar Clinical Research Center, or Cardio Cardiovascular Research Center, the scientific components, progress to date, and try and look into the future. I think all of you know that cardiovascular disease, as we have heard this morning, is responsible for a massive disease load and approximately full 17 million people die every year of cardiovascular disorders. On top of that, there is a lot of people who are disabled by these diseases. We do know from existing statistics from the WHO that the disease load is particularly high in the Middle East and the Gulf region. And from this map on this slide, you see that the incidence of heart failure in Russia and Egypt, for example, are the highest in the world. Now, these are preliminary statistics. And what we also know that there is a lack of accurate clinical, epidemiological, and genetic data from this region. And therefore, there is a massive need to understand the, not only the epidemiological factors, but the basic mechanisms of cardiovascular diseases. And you have heard this morning from Dr. Agre what understanding basic mechanisms means and what it can deliver. And that process, at the very least, needs to be started in this region, in the cardiovascular area. Finally, and importantly, as we have heard uh, from uh, Dean Javid, that it is absolutely essential to translate the results of research to clinical practice. So these are some of the strategies which can be applied in general to combat the so-called epidemic in cardiovascular disease we are witnessing. The first, and we have heard about that, and it's the theme of this meeting, is to establish research as a priority. And, as mentioned again, to determine the exact size and specifics of cardiovascular disease in each region. And that will enable the development of tailored disease and patient-specific uh, solution by local researchers. And we have heard a lot about that already. Another important aspect which we and others are dedicated to is to build a network of centers of excellence in the region and beyond. And we really do believe in both the region and beyond. Now, what about the Qatar Cardiovascular Research Center? These are the specific objectives 
which with our colleagues we have established. These objectives include the establishment of an internationally competitive center of excellence for cardiovascular research, to maintain a translational focus relevant to the development of health policy and practice, as we have heard, provide opportunities to capacity building professional uh, or professionals and developing opportunities for the local period people. Importantly, also provide opportunities for biotechnology. We have heard about that, but more about this. The Qatar Cardiovascular Research Center it the first center created in the wider vision of the Qatar Foundation to set up a Qatar Biomedical Research Institute. And we have heard from dear Dean Javid about the visions of their institution. It is important not to forget about cardiovascular health in the developing world, and we have heard about global medicine and our group, like others, are totally dedicated to global health and we do have networks in Africa and we hope that not only in the region we will establish links with the rest of the world. What are the scientific components up till this moment and what are the, what's happening. The components actually do ra range from population studies, creating registries of patients to facilitate studies for, of prevalence, risk factors and outcomes. And we have already uh, identified several areas which we have started with our colleagues at Hammer in heart failure, inherited heart muscle disease, diseases of the aortic valve and the aortic wall, specifically the bicuspid aortic valve, revascularization, particularly a primary PCI which is already happening in this country, but we are joining forces with our colleagues at Hamad to have research uh, programs to make it a national program and to research into the efficacy of this procedure in this country and use this as a platform uh, for clinical studies of new procedures and new drugs which are coming along to enhance the efficacy of primary opening of arteries in heart attacks. That will form, move us then therefore into from the population to the clinical arena that like I have mentioned. We think that establishment of basic science lab specifically designed to support what I have talked about in terms of population and clinical studies and to collaborate with existing laboratories in this country, which you have already heard about which is fundamental. And we have um, ideas of establishing cellular, molecular, as well as other important um, fields of basic science research, which is totally dedicated to the program of research, of translational research, uh, which we have in mind. And as you have heard, translational research is essential to take the discoveries 
to the patients as quick as possible and to establish programs for clinician scientists. An important part of our strategy uh, consists of developing a center for regenerative therapy in cardiovascular system, which includes not only stem cell biology and uh, as it applies to the cardiovascular system, but also tissue engineering of heart valve, myocardial patches, and other uh, developments. We also, that links, we think that links directly into establishing cardiac transplantation for the region. That has been talked about for many years, and we have taken part in um, the idea of establishing a Gulf-wide transplantation program not only for hearts and heart lungs, but for other organs. And there is already a case of need. This could plug in very well with the Center for Regenerative, Cardiovascular Regenerative Therapy. With development of tissue engineering, there are large opportunities for interacting with industry and exploiting these discoveries. What have we achieved to date? These are, our, the center has just started because only a few months. Agreement has been made between Qatar Foundation and as you have heard, QAL Qatar Aswan London Advanced Cardiovascular Network. QAL stands also for quality. And the Hamad Medical Corporation in September of this year. So we're very young. The establishment of QCRC has commenced with the formation of, as I mentioned already, disease-specific groups, both clinicians and scientists. And with that, a coordinating structure and an oversight board. And we have also been fortunate to have a number of leading scientists and clinicians from around the world to join us on the oversight board and to help in different parts of the program. Importantly, QCRC has started positive interactions with the Aswan Heart Center science and practice series as part of building the network of excellence in research in the region. And we cordially invite you to the second Aswan Heart Center in collaboration with QCRC, second symposium on inherited heart muscle disease, both hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, dilated cardiomyopathy, and arrhythmogenic right ventricular myopathy, which will take part in Cairo between the 3rd and 6th. And almost everybody who has contributed in these fields of inherited heart muscle disease will be there. Importantly, already there, are, there is a database, a national database established in Egypt with over 300 patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Most of them have been studied for the genotype by a sequencing lab which has been established with the Library of Alexandria. Now, exactly the same type of research 
we plan to have here, and that is a first step in this building of a network of cardiovascular science and practice in the region. I mentioned already that distinguished international experts are already participating in all aspects of the Qatar cardiovascular research program and are both guiding and taking part into the different programs I have outlined. Don't forget we are very young. What is the future? We have attempted to establish priorities in research projects. This has been identified and agreed upon with our partners at Hamad and hopefully at also Cornell and everybody around for immediate and medium and long-term implementation. We are in the process of establishing a purpose-built facility for basic science laboratories, not to duplicate anything which is already there, but to collaborate and augment what is here already. Discussions are going on with stakeholders regarding opportunities in regenerative medicine and transplantation, as I have just mentioned. We have identified building a world-class transgenic facility locally as an essential item for future developments because we feel that having a transgenic facility apart from developing induced pluripotent cells as disease models is essential, particularly in the area of inherited heart muscle disease. And we have very specific ideas about that because we have witnessed with, in our area of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, an example, that the mutations in humans can be actually produced or reproduced in mouse models and that the phenotype of the exact mutation which happened in the particular molecule like uh, mice in heavy chain or mice even in the one which is common in our area, uh, mice in binding protein C, actually reproduces the same phenotype in the animal models, which is absolutely essential to study in a whole heart as well as in um, induced pluripotent cells. Projects with the poten potential of biotechnology application are being formulated and we are very um, hopeful to collaborate with Dr. Tito Mani and his uh, group in this area, which is already very well developed in Qatar. Thank you very much.